What's good, everybody? It's your boy Slint, aka Mr. Different, your favorite episode producer, back with another video. Man, I've been sick for the past week and it made me feel like shit. But I'm back with another video. And in this video, I want to go ahead and address like a commonly asked question all the time on my videos, even old videos I made in the past, where people still do not understand how to set up recording for FL Studio. I mean, I made like three videos at this point where how to pretty much set your microphone up and everything up for recording, and people still don't get it so this is going to be the last and final video i am making on the topic where this is going to be recording vocals is easy in fl studio this is a beginner guy where i'm going to go over every little step because i feel like a lot of you guys are watching these videos at 1000 times speed and then when it goes past you and it's like a blur because so fast you can't your brain can't comprehend it that you don't you just keep messing up so oh Man, this gets really frustrating, but at the same time, I understand a lot of people are just impatient and want to be a quick, easy button, but it's not that easy or that simple, especially in FL Studio. So in this video, I'm hopefully going to get you guys up and running with recording vocals in FL Studio the easy way. And this is a very beginner basic tutorial, so be prepared for me to go over every little detail to help you guys out because I'm tired of making videos like this and I'm tired of getting questions and comments about why it doesn't work, why I can't hear myself, why I can't record it, blah, blah, blah. This video is going to show you everything, so let's get right to it. So here we are inside of FL Studio. Now before we begin, I want to say, make sure you have a microphone, a interface, maybe some headphones, and also you got a computer or laptop as well, because I think a lot of you guys probably skipped that part as well, so I'm gonna make sure I make it very basic for you guys. So make sure you got those very basics right now before you get, uh, we get into that. Make sure you have an interface, a microphone, all that good stuff, and it's all plugged up to your computer, USB, Thunderbolt, whatever, and you know, we're good. Once you got that, now we can move on, so just make sure you got that. <laughs> so anyway, here we are inside of FS Studio. Let's say I got a little beat pulled up right now, but we'll get to that in a little bit. First, we're going to start off with going to the options and pretty much getting everything kind of set up for how we're going to record. So if you go to options, you want to go to audio settings. Now, in audio settings, there's a thing where you have the, uh, the ASIO driver. So basically, you want to select the ASIO driver for your interface. Now, if you have a focus right, you want to make sure to set the focus right. Thunderbolt USB. If you have a personas, you mention the personas. If you have, uh, well, I'm using the Arturia one, use the Arturia one. You want to make sure you use the ASIO driver for your interface. That would give you the best results right there. And make sure you use ASIO driver and not direct sound because these are just the low latency drivers built into your interface. So these are going to give you the best results. Don't use these up here unless, I mean, I, they're, there's really no use to use that. If you don't have an interface that has ASIO drivers, use the ASIO for all, and you should be able to set that up as well. I might make a video about ASIO for all, because it's another thing. So once you got that set up, you want to set your buffer size. Now, for recording purposes, you want a low buffer size. Now, this is going to be for demo person. I don't really care about that. But for recording, the lower the buffer size, the better. Usually, I like to record around 64 samples or 128, depending on, you know, the session and how many tracks I got. That will give you the least amount of latency, meaning when you talk into the microphone, how fast you'll be able to hear yourself back into it. So if you want to record with effects or hear yourself recording, you want a low number. Now, if you don't care about hearing yourself back or anything like that, then you can actually jack the, um, um, the latency up, and, you know, you actually have it up so you can put more effects or whatever later down the road. But for mixing purposes, you always want to have a higher uh, buffer size because it lets you put more effects on there. But like I said, for recording purposes, keep it low. If your interface can go to 64, that's really good. If you can go lower than that, then even better. But 128 is usually a good one, I like to say, for most interfaces. Um, but you got Thunderbolt or USB Type-C, then you can pretty much go 64 or maybe even 32, depending on, you know, your system as well. Remember, the lower you go, the more powerful a system you will need as far as like laptop, PC, or whatever. So just keep that in mind and a better interface. So I'm just going to go ahead and set the 64. It's probably going to do a little glitching real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and set the 64, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that we got that set up, so we got, the, I got our buffer size set up. We got our driver set up. We're all good at this point. You're ready to start recording and actually setting up our microphone next. So now we're going to move into the microphone. So like this beat, I said, let's say I dragged in this beat. Shout out to my homie uh, Carter X using one of his beats real quick for this video. So... I pretty much dragged the beat into FS Studio, you know, drag and drop, all that good stuff. I double clicked it and I did send it to uh, channel one. So this beat is actually playing on channel one, as you can see. And that's just good if you want to put effects on the beat, maybe some, you know, something on there, uh, or you want to change the volume of it. You know, it's good to send your beat to a separate channel. Because like I said, FS Studio doesn't automatically do that like most DAWs out there. So you'll need to do it yourself. Um, now we're going to set up our microphone. So I'm just going to set up track number two to record my microphone. Now, you want to go right here to input, and you want to select your microphone. Look, there are two different types of inputs. There are the top ones up here, which are stereo, meaning you're using 
two microphones or a stereo mic or whatever. But we're using mono, so we use right here. Now, if your microphone is plugged up into uh, in, uh, input one, you will pick line input instrument one. Or if it's in input two, two, three, four, depending on whatever you have your microphone plugged into, that's what you're going to use for this. So for me, the microphone is plugged into one. So if I hit in here, now you should be able to hear me inside of FS2. It should be doubling a little bit, so I'm just going to uh, mute that. Now, I want to show you guys a quick little thing, because this is where a lot of people mess up when it comes to recording FS2. As you can see, I have it hooked up to input one, and you see we have level going into input one. And you see it's a pretty healthy level. I'm going to talk about gain stage and all that in a little bit. Um, but as you can see, if you want to hear yourself back inside your headphones while recording, you want to make sure you click your channel and you want to route it to the master channel. Once you do that, you'll be able to hear yourself back in real time. So as you can see, now it's doubling. You can hear me twice, blah, blah, blah. It's, you know, good stuff right there, good things. But, you know, that's if you want to hear yourself. A lot of people unmute that and don't hear this. So I'll show you what happens when you record and why people get mixed up with that. I'm going to show you exactly how to fix that issue. So if you want to hear yourself, make sure you route the actual channel to the master channel. That way you'll be able to hear yourself. If you don't want to hear yourself, you can actually unlink it and you're, you're good. But if you want to hear yourself play back again, you have to make sure you link it back to the master channel. If you do not do that, you will not hear any audio. And a lot of you guys keep doing that and hit me up with questions and comments. I can't hear myself. That's why. And I'm going to show you how to fix it. So now we got that routed. If you want to, you can add effects to it, all that good stuff. That's cool. This little red button right here is the arm button. This pretty much tells FS Studio what track is on for recording, meaning what track FS Studio is going to record from. So you can unarm it, and that means, you know, nothing's arm, but you arm it. Now FS Studio is going to record through this channel. So, for example, I'm about to mute my main mic in OBS, and we're going to just record a little freestyle inside of here. I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, mess around with that and all that good stuff. So let me go ahead and do that. Now I'm able to hear myself back inside FS Studio. Let's go ahead and record a little BS freestyle real quick just for the F of it. And say so once you want, you want to count off, you want to hit the one, the three, two, one button. I just give you a little count off. You want to arm your track. And if you're recording into the playlist, make sure you're on song mode, not pattern mode. Make sure you're on song mode and then hit play. Let it count down and start recording. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's your boy different. Back. Better show you guys how to do this. I mean, hopefully you guys can record and do this right. So yeah, I mean. I'm tired of helping everybody out. So stop running your map. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> it's just a BS real quick. So let's go ahead and unmute that. Let's go ahead and unmute myself and unmute myself back. Unmute myself back. All right, so now I'm back inside of OBS and, you know, sounding good and all that. As you see, we have a recording. Now, if I play it back, just un unrecord, play it back. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's your boy different. Back. Better show you guys how to do this. I mean, hopefully you guys can record and do this right. So, yeah, I mean, I'm tired of helping everybody out. <laughs> you know, there you go, right there. As you can see, there it is. Um, and it's pretty much, it's, it's done, okay? So now you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, now I have it in there recorded. How can I actually add effects to it? Because none of my effects are working. Well, you got to send it to its own channel. So if you double click it, if you hit the track button right under here, I think this feature is only in 12.5 or higher or whatever. But if you hit this little track button, it should send it directly to its own mixer channel. So you hit that. Now it's sent it to number two. It sent it actually to number two because I for recorded. So like I said, I can actually unmute this. Actually mute this. And now it should be coming through channel here. Oh, but wait, there's no audio coming through. And this is where a lot of people get messed up every single time. You got to remember, you have to route it back to the master channel. And once you do that, yeah, yeah, uh, it's your boy different, back. Better show you guys how to do this. I mean, hopefully you guys can record. And that's where a lot of people mess up and get irritated and hit me up in comments like, why can't I hear myself back? Why can't I hear myself back? Play back when I'm done. Blah, 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 blah. That's the reason why you're not routing it back to the master channel after you take off all the arm on it. Now you can add in effects, compressors, EQs, reverbs, all the good stuff, and you have a track like that way. And like I said, if you want to, what I would recommend is to not record again. If you have something, say you have um, some tracks right here in this channel. I would not record in the same channel. I would actually make like a, a, a random channel, like maybe down here and record to like a, a random empty channel because if you try to record once again in this channel, so say for example, I bring my microphone back up. So we're gonna do it one more time. So you guys can hear me. Now, if I try to record 
again, it's going to record not only what I'm saying now, but it's also going to record this as well. So I'll show you an example so you can avoid this. Yeah, it's your boy yeah. Slim, aka yeah. it's different, and you know, uh, trying to, uh, it's your boy you different. Know, I mean, it's, yeah, that. Now, if I mute this one, it's actually going to be recorded. It actually recorded this plus this, as you can see. And let's just go here. We'll just send it to track. Let's send to track number three. Oh, gotta make sure it's routed once again to the master channel. Yeah, it's your boy yeah. Slim, aka yeah. it's different, and you know, uh, trying to, uh, it's your boy you different. Know, I mean, that is the one super big annoyance that I hate with FS Studio, and that's why I don't really record vocals in FS Studio because of that stupid little issue right there that you know just can't be really fixed unless they just redo the whole record thing. Make sure that if you do record audio, record it to a random like down the road type of um channel, and just um you know route your stuff manually into your own channels that way. That way you just don't have that overdubbing effect and it records both this and that. Cause I see a lot of people having an issue as well, and that's why it's doing that and that is why it's messing up like that so yeah i mean that is pretty much it that is the bare basics on how to record an fs studio hopefully this video made sense to a lot of people hopefully you guys now understand why some issues are going on when you're recording why you can't hear yourself back why i record the previous thing plus this all kinds of like that hopefully this video makes sense if you still having issues i can't save you. you just need to stop recording you need to just stop recording and get a different daw or just stop doing music altogether because there is no other help this is basically the easiest way to understand how to record vocals in fs studio but like i said fs studio isn't the best for recording vocals anyway why am i still doubling i it's so annoying but whatever but yeah fs2 just not the best for you know doing that so why am i still but yeah so I, I don't know what to say if you got any questions leave a comment below and hopefully we can help you out hopefully there won't be no issues because i can't take no more issues. but with that being said y'all know who it is your boy Slim, aka is different not motivated by the money but the like comment subscribe and views except the comments about this which i just showed you again so you should be able to get it so hopefully you guys understand it if you got any more questions feel free to leave in the comments below i'll try to help you guys out as much as i can but hopefully this will alleviate a lot of issues and you guys can you know go about recording at fs studio which i don't really recommend but you can anyway but it's what it is so yeah, let us say, hope you guys enjoy always. Catch you guys next video. I'm out. Later. Yeet.